Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can animate the least items inside lazy column. Well, just think of a scenario where you want to animate the least items based on user action. For example, filter or sort. Now during those operations, the items shown to the user they change their position and as they change their positions in a list how about if you animate them well adding animations to the list is extremely simple with jetpack compose in this tutorial let's check that out but before that let me talk about the build.gradle so here you have to update the compose version to at least 1.1.0 beta 3 so we are going to take advantage of the method called animate item placement and that got added from beta 3 and onwards so i'm using the beta 4 which is the current version of compose ui okay now let's create a composable let me name this as employ details and inside this we are going to show the list of employees so just for demo purpose i have added an employee model class with id and name so let's have employee list equals to list of and here we'll create employee say id as 1 and the name as a and now let me change this to 3 4 5 6 and 7 here let me update this as a b c d e f and g now i do not want this to get initiated all the times so let me put this inside remember block okay now let's have a lazy column first inside this we'll have items we'll call this as employee list and now inside this let's have a text where we are going to show the id and another text where we are going to show name so we want to show both of them side by side so let's wrap them inside row and let's make this as fill max width we'll also make this clickable and let's add a padding of say 12 dp also let's do a horizontal arrangement as arrangement dot space between okay so now we have our list item ready now if i run this app then we are going to see the list of employee details like one two three four with the name as abcd so no animation added so far it's just a normal list and we are not doing anything else apart from clicking on it and that also on click we haven't added anything now next we'll see how we can animate the list item so here you could see we have the list items here and on a click of it nothing happens here so to animate first let's have an observable list so we'll make this as employee details list by remember mutable state of employee list so as soon as we do any changes to this it will recompose so that the items will get updated now what do i'm doing is that 
on a click of any of the item I'm just shuffling the items and then reassigning it back to the employee details list so let's do that here I'll say EMP list dot shuffled okay let's make this as where now that's it now if you remember then initially I've told about two things that we are going to add animation with two parameters one is key and another one is with animate item placement so let's add that method on the modifier animate item placement and that's it so if I run this application now you'll see the items will get changed but you'll not see the animations as of now because we are still missing one of the very important factor that's the key so I'll show how we can add key too so here you could see that on a click items are getting changed but there is no such animation which we want so let's add key also in this and we'll set this as key is employee id so it dot id is nothing but the employee model dot id so just by providing key and calling this method animate item placement now when i click on any of the item we are shuffling the item so that it will animate themselves with respect to the new position let's check that out so as i'm clicking on any of the item now you could see they are automatically getting animated but why it didn't work when i haven't provided key well the reason behind this is all composables should have a unique call site that means the place from where you call a composable that place is called as a call site and based on the convention every call site has to be unique so if you do not provide the key value then to make this call site unique compiler will add the positional information and that's the reason that during recomposition it may either be unable to reuse any of the existing composable or it has to create all the composables or just few the composable based on the position for example you could see the item is seventh at the end now during reshuffle if the seventh item is moved back to fourth item and remaining three remain same then during recomposition it will reuse these three composables and will create new composable from this place and onwards because the item at this position got changed so now it cannot reuse the composable associated with respect to position from here onwards and in a similar fashion if the seven goes back all the way to the zeroth position then it has to recreate all those composables it cannot reuse any of them because by default the call site depends on the positional information but when we provide key value then we are explicitly saying to the compiler that it's not positional information rather to make the call site unique take this as a key not the position as a key so now with respect to the id it can reuse the composable because i am not creating any new items here or deleting any of them it's just shuffling with the existing one that means now it is not creating any new composable it's reusing all the existing one because id is same the size is same it shows a position information is getting changed so with respect to new position 
it's just animating itself and that's the reason key plays a very vital role here so let me show this again if i remove key then we lose the optimization that means composable should get recreated and because of these things we are not going to see the animation let's check this out so when i'm clicking on the items you could see it's a sudden change but no animation like before so that's it in this tutorial if you have liked this video then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel thank you and stay tuned